Hi everyone, this is Vincent, and you're on Hanging Out Sunset. You know, not a long time ago, a few weeks ago, actually, I was in the high desert in Pioneer Town, California, because I was、uh, covering the Pioneer Town Film Festival. But it was not just a film festival, as you know. I got to interview the Dandy Warhols, but also I got to meet some of the local artists that play in the area, like Jessica Von Rabbit. She's my guest today, and Jessica is a like a legend in the high desert. Also. Not a native of the area, she found her dream place in Joshua Tree after first moving to LA from Connecticut at the end of the 90s. She worked as a stylist for celebrities like Debbie Harry from Blondie or Gwen Stefani in LA. But I guess this wasn't fulfilling enough. She wanted to be the one behind the microphone. So about that time, she first visited Joshua Tree and found there the artistic freedom that would enable her to become that. Avant-garde, genre-bending, electro rock and roll queen she has become since. So I was really, really eager to meet her, and she came to me, and we met at the Pioneer Town Motel,、uh, close to where the festival was being held. And at night, I got the privilege to see her perform at the Red Dog Saloon, and it was、uh, quite amazing. So I'm very, very happy to. Share with you this special interview with Jessica, and she just released a new song, which is a cover by Boys Don't Cry, an English '80s band. And Jesse Hughes from the Eagles of Death Metal is featured on that song. So、uh, watch it because both of their universes match so much. They both crave for that artistic freedom that we love. And、uh, yeah, enough said. Let's do the show. So basically, my name is Vincent. I have this podcast called,、um, and it's also like a blog called Hanging on Sunset. Okay. I'm French, as you can hear. Yes.、Uh, but I live in LA. Great. And、uh, I've been here, here in the high desert、uh, for a long time now. You know, here and、uh, you've been b- going back yeah, and forth. Yeah, back、right? and forth. And but the first time I came here was like 11 years ago. So、uh, when I saw that you were、uh, performing for the Pioneer Town Festival, I was like, "Yeah, cool. I can、uh, cool. talk to her if she wants." And、uh, yeah. very happy that you are here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So my first question is,、uh, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well,、um, I'm doing good. Excited for、um, us having this Western video. To be premiered today, just、uh, came out yes, today. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been a long time、um, in the making、uh, to, to have the release happen because we were going to release it with the film festival in the past, but the film festival kept getting postponed、oh. due to COVID. So, so you've kind of been sit- sitting on the video for quite some time now. Oh my god! So to me, it's not even that like fresh anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I still have to like I, I need to be excited about it, and I am. <laughs> but it's kind of been like okay, you know. <laughs> This has、yeah. been done, so. And it's a great video, and it's a great song, and I always love your videos because it sounds like you put a lot of your your own, you, like you Spin, you do it、yeah. you, your yourself, right,、yes. most of the time. Yeah. And、uh, it's pretty cool. This time you have like、uh, Jesse used like、yep. uh, featured on the Jesse, song. Jesse, yep, Dave Catching, and、um, guitar player from Eagles of Death Metal. Yeah, yeah.、Um, Who's also running the Rancho de la Luna, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. I know my local history. <laughs> Good. It's important. Actually, I'm in a band myself. Uh huh. It's called Yard of Blondes, and、uh, we've been recording not at the Rancho, but at Tony Mason's. Okay. Yeah, like, I know Tony.、Uh, like、uh, eight years ago or something. Okay. But, cool. So yeah, a little familiar with the area. <laughs> Good friends with Teddy Queen too. Uh huh. Who used to be hosting like open、yeah. mics and stuff. So all right, and you're you were not born here, right? No, I was born in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, but I've been in California for twenty some years now. So, you've been here long enough that they call you the queen of the high desert. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so,、um, let's take things back in、uh, to Wisconsin, actually. Okay. And,、uh, 
tell me uh, how did you really start being interested in music what was the first shock for you um, I guess I was always I came out of the womb interested in music um, my mother was a singer um, growing up she was a oh, singer nice. in band in cover bands in in our in our hometown and and I you know she started me on piano lessons when I was seven and I just I, it was just always around me and I knew that's what I wanted to do from a young age so oh, I was always cool. pursuing that and um, when I graduated from high a year after high school, I moved to Minneapolis, uh -huh. and that's where I started playing in um, bands originally. Hmm. And then I so I got my start in Minneapolis, and then I fled the chilly Midwest for Los Angeles. <laughs> um, About year two thousand, like in the late you no, know, in the late nineties. Oh, okay. And then I came here in the early two thousands. Oh yeah, yeah. L A first. L A first. You worked yes. as a stylist. If yeah, I yes, correct. yes, I did. I did. And then yeah. come here. And, and then I yeah, and then I came out to the desert and I've been here ever since. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you fell in love with it? I did. I mean it was a good place to it was still close enough to Los Angeles where mm -hmm. I'm still able to like perform there and make my mark there, but I didn't have to live right in Los Angeles when which can be a little exactly. you know, treacherous. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, there's a huge history of music around here. Of course. Like the desert rock and but Graham also Parsons. Graham Parsons yeah. and you You had a band called Graham Rabbit. Is that a coincidence? Well, um, no, we named it after. Yeah, that's that was. I mean, that that was my start was Graham Rabbit, and I was you know was with them for. Oh, I mean, them. I was them like for for twelve years or so. And mm -hmm. actually, Todd, the co-founder of um, Graham Rabbit, Todd Rutherford Johnson, he um, was part of the original production of this "I Want to Be a Cowboy" track. Um, oh I, really? But, uh, but I kind of dug it out of the archives because it it'd been like on some old Pro oh Tools hard drive for years, and I you know just maybe like a year and a half ago I was looking at, looking up old sessions, and I'm like, oh yeah, this, and I'm like, I listen to it, I'm like, this has to come out. So um, wow, I um I put Jesse Hughes vocals on it because him and I are friends, and we always talked about doing a duet. I'm like, this uh -huh. would be perfect for Jesse and I. So so I kind of dug it out of the old Graham Rabbit archives and and spent time like kind of remixing and uh -huh. fortifying things uh -huh. and you know retracking a few things but um oh, that's but it was amazing. actually kind of it was kind of a gram rabbit thing that never saw the light of day and wow. now it's that's actually the light pretty of day. cool so the fact that it was delayed for another year was not a big exactly. deal exactly <laughs> true yeah, this, uh, yeah it's just uh yeah. karma of this song exactly <laughs> oh that's cool i know jesse a little bit i've spent yeah been spending some nights at his place yeah. and uh hanging uh, out with him a little bit is a pretty cool dude and i think uh, you guys match perfectly like uh, in the sense that you're totally free yeah. in your artistic approach yeah. right thank you yeah that's good and I, i think that's one of the things that i got from your music i've been listening to it uh, a lot lately because i knew I, i would see you cool and uh I, what really struck me and now that you're telling me that you've been to minneapolis i'm thinking about prince and i got this vibe from your music too like oh wow like that you they're experimenting and researching all the time. Like, there's not a song that will like another one <laughs> yeah. in your discography. So sometimes, like... Um, right, I switch. I, yeah, I don't have one sound. <laughs> yes. I can't really stick to one sound, I guess. I, I mean, I guess it all kind of sounds like me because it's my voice and... But yeah, um, I don't. I kind of bend genres, you could say. So. Which I admire. And I, I think it's a, a real statement on the way you approach your art. And uh, so this made me think of Prince, obviously, because he was experimenting and researching yeah. all the time and didn't care about trends or any kind of pressure or expectations, I guess. Uh -huh. And I think that's what you do. It's a net. <laughs> <laughs> and also the stylistic approach, like the old high aesthetic that you, you've been doing. And I'm not surprised you've been a stylist before because you style yourself. And it's always surprising and it's always, you know, like a, a whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> So do you, you. Uh, think the music and the style together? Oh. Um, yeah, I guess I just kind of go hand in hand, like um, as far as like the music videos are concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. And even for the performances? Um, for the performances, yes. I mean, I have a couple dancers and we just, uh, they have, um, they come out in different costumes, not on every song, but we just got some new alien costumes for them that they, debuted last night we played in long beach at alex's bar oh um, nice oh that's a great place yeah so i definitely like to uh, incorporate theatrics into my live show just because mm -hmm. i think it makes things a little more exciting and gives yeah. people a visual set of just the music so totally. i've been doing that for a long time and i enjoy that yeah and also your artwork and uh, yeah. everything seems very like 
curated, if, if that's the word. Thank you. I guess word. I'm. <laughs> I guess I just. I don't. I, I mean, I think about it, but I. I don't feel like I'm doing any. I just. I guess it just comes natural to me, and I just. Um, I, I maybe other people are maybe even more impressed by it than I am. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't know. That just seems like natural <laughs> yeah. to me. I, I don't. I'm not that impressed with myself. Like mm-hmm. I always feel like I could be doing more. So it's nice when other people appreciate it. <laughs> well, that's cool. So are you uh, preparing something? Uh, different for uh, tomorrow's performance at the um, festival? Because I, I read like Jessica Von Rabbit Goes Country. That was the title of the... Well... Is it going to happen or... I, <laughs> you know, I'm... I was originally supposed to play country, but then uh, I'm... Then I, I, you know, I think I'm supposed to be doing a little... I'm doing some of my electronic stuff too, okay. so... Yeah. There'll, well. be, there'll be some cowboy themes in, in the set for sure. <laughs> All right, and you 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 released um, a collaboration called Josh and Trina a long time ago, maybe yes. 2019. Y- yes, or something uh, right. right before the pandemic yes. happened. Yes, and the uh, song Joshua Tree that was more like a you know country Americana, vibe. Yeah. Americana, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. So you you yeah. really uh, I do that. Into I do that too. I mean, Graham Rabbit. Some of our early mm-hmm. songs were we had some Americana tracks that got made it onto a lot of film and television and um so i've always kind of had a foot in that world a little bit but you know i also like i also like poppy rocky mm-hmm. i mean i like mm-hmm. all genres mm-hmm. so um i just you know i just do a little bit of just, everything just go with the flow yeah, yeah. And do you produce every tracks yourself um yes to to a point right now um i kind of sitting on a new album but i need to uh mm. I've produced most. I, I produce. I get it as good sounding as I can on my own. I do mm-hmm. run Pro Tools. I've gotten be- much better at it over the years. I have some decent gear, so I get it to a certain point where it's like this sounds pretty good. Now I want to hire someone else yes. to just like help me put the put it make it put it over the top like track drums or mm-hmm. you know just help me with EQs and any extra ideas. So so and, uh, yeah, I guess uh, mixing and uh, yeah, stuff of course, like that. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that too. You know, yeah. <laughs> with my but I'm definitely like hands on. Like I'm I'm not I'm always like right there the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like I don't just hand it off to someone and say you mix it. Like I couldn't. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so what's your process when you're writing a song? Do you have any routine or? Um, I don't know. I just uh. You know, I I ha- I'll have my I'll have some song idea in my head and or things I've rec- little riffs I've recorded and um, sometimes like a phrase or a word sparks like an idea for a song. But I just um, I like to start kind of like early in the day and I just like I just uh, I just start tracking. I just start like I don't like I don't I don't always like figure the song out completely. I just have like maybe I have one little riff and I'll put down a drum lot beat and then I just I kind of just I write it as I'm recording it basically mm-hmm. so I do the same actually yeah because I feel I like, like why c- killing one bird with a stone <laughs> yeah. like killing, what is it too, I, I, I don't yeah I don't have to like have the whole song figured out before I start recording uh-huh. is basically what I'm saying it's usually just, with with me it's like if I don't record it right away yeah I, I lose interest in the song yeah <laughs> exactly of. exactly and, uh, it's hard to go back yeah. to it but if you have some you know layers already right tracked, right it, then, it makes it exciting it's yeah. like oh that's cool how about this how about this yeah yeah <laughs> right away yeah instant gratification that's cool yeah so you've been in joshua tree and in the area for uh tw- like 20 years 20 years yeah. now and my first time here was like 11 years ago and i've seen the area change too right and the community what do you what do you do you still enjoy being here um <laughs> Yes, I do. I mean, I sometimes I think like, where else would I move to? Like, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes I ponder that because I have been here for a while now, and I'm like, am I going to be here forever? Like, mm-hmm. I have been here. Like, it's nice to have some variety in life, but I I like where I live. I do like my community. I love the landscape, and um, that's for sure. You know, we're just getting like nicer. We're getting more places to hang out, and um, yeah, things have changed a little, but you know, it's okay. It's called growth, and mm, it's course. good to accept it, and. Um, and if I drove around the country looking for a new place to live, I'd probably be seeking out something similar to where I'm already at. <laughs> yeah, so I yes. think, you know what? I think this is probably yes. good. So yes, we'll see what happens. But I'm I'm here for now. And you say you you have a little community around you. Is there like a, a scene, a musical scene still? Um, yeah, there is, but it's definitely like growing and um, you know, branching off. There's just there's so many new people out here now. Like um. There's new little scenes, yeah. um, but I seem to always find my way into all of them. <laughs> I usually know somebody, and you know, and every different little clique. So, 
All right, that's cool. So what's what's the the cool spot right now to play <laughs> in the to area? To play? Well, I'm really excited for the new opening of the A Bar in, uh -huh. in Yucca. I heard so about that. I heard it's wonderful. It's beautiful, um, and I can't wait to play there. So that's exciting. That's great. And of I, course, I, the Red Dog tomorrow night too. Yes, I can't wait to see your performance. Really, thank and you. I'm very very happy about that. And um, I wanted to know more about your uh, experiences. You were um, mentioning that your, your music has been plugged into TV shows and, and stuff like that. So do you write specifically for that sometimes? No. Or it just happened that... No, it just happens that it gets placed in film and TV. That's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are no many avenues of uh, revenues right now right. when you're an that's, artist. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the of biggest... Those. Yeah, that's kind of the best one. So are, um, do you have like a, a whole team or? Um, label? I've had different people pitch me over the years. Um, I'm working with someone new right now, but um, like in the past, uh, sometimes it was just like maybe the music supervisor on the show mm -hmm. was a fan of a song or heard That's it or, or came to a show <laughs> and like we want you know they want it and sometimes they seek you out. Other times you uh, your your agent is pitching that so. You know, just always comes from different yeah. different uh, means, but but it's always nice. Like sometimes there's like uh, for a while I was getting um getting things in movies and TV a lot, and then there's kind of a dry spell, and then you get a few here. You know, it just mm -hmm. it's not a it's nothing you can always count on, but you always hope it's still gonna happen. So yes, there's this and then touring. So yeah, you, you've been touring with Eagles of Death Metal. That or? was in 2015, so it's been a while. Oh, yeah. I've been toured for a bit. You know, I've just been playing. Do you miss it here and there? Um, yes and no, like touring's hard work and, um, it's expensive and, um, yeah. unless you're hooked up on a good tour, it's, it's hard to uh, yeah. make the money. It and, is, and it is. Yeah. Hard conditions most it of is, the time. It is. So, so yeah. it has to be, yeah, it has to be right before I'm going to like go hit the road again. Like, yeah. but you like performing around town and uh, I do lately. That's kind of been more my speed <laughs> and also I'm working since I've been working on a new album I'm kind of like been a little more insular and just at home like writing and coming up with new ideas so so do you have a, a plan or do you know when you're going to release that I don't record? yet I'm actually looking for um I'm looking for a new producer to help me like finish off the album so right now I've got a little more writing to do but I'm kind of putting out my feelers as to like who I could hire to who would be a right fit to mm -hmm. um come in and just kind of help me yeah, the, the deal. Yeah, the people that you want to um, reach out to. A little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's a couple of people in mind that I haven't reached out to yet. I'm kind of, I was waiting to get this cowboy video out, mm -hmm. and then like that was kind of my next phase. So it was like, take care of this. And okay. Then, yeah. Well, that, that that's great, and I, I love the video, and uh, we're gonna promote it. I'm gonna put it on the the website too. I'm gonna write a little blurb about that. Thank and, you. Uh, and then post the. Uh, our uh, conversation also Great. so I'll, I'll tag you and we'll share with uh, Yay. our uh, little community thank you <laughs> uh, what else so yeah I wanted to talk to you about that cover that you did from Boy George too uh huh because I, I saw that uh, he retweeted it he so did that's a big yeah, deal <laughs> that, was, that was exciting I so, grew up listening to Boy George I was a fan as a little girl so when he Retweeted my retweeted my song. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting it. it. Tomorrow? <laughs> no, I haven't played that one for a while, but I should bring it out. Maybe, maybe I will. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jessica. Thank and, you. Um, good luck with the release of the new song, the new video. Thank you so much. And uh, like uh, 15 years in the making. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> It's a cover from Boys, Boys Don't, Don't Cry. Boys Don't Cry, right? And. Uh, Can we put it in the podcast after our conversation? Can please, I edit it in? Please. Perfect. Yes. So you're going to listen to it right now. Great. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you.